Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Super Chick Lacquer Juicy, and I'm going to double stamp on it. Here we go. I've started off with Peel Ease, and here is Juicy from Super Chick Lacquer. It is such an amazing polish. This would be so fall appropriate. It's got that dusty orange look to it. Oh, I love it. I love all of them. Being sure to cap my free edge there. Now this is a one coater. You could totally do one coat and be done. But I'm a two coat girl, so we're going to go in for that second coat. Mine's about the thickness of how the polish is on my fingernail. I don't, you know, even if it is a one coater, I still want that extra added, you know, layer. Oh, I love it. I'm going to top it with the Super Chick Marble Liquid Macro Top Coat. I saved this for my Super Chick polishes because I'm funny like that. I definitely want to be able to see that in all its glory with all of its you know, all of its glory, all of its shine, all of its blingtasticness. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my. I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang XL006 and my Conad Stamper, my Beauty Big Bang Scraper, and Born Pretty's Stamping Polish in gray and blue. Mine don't have names or numbers, so, you know, I just, they call them by the color they look to me. I'm going to use this larger image on a couple of nails, and I'm doing it in gray, the diamond looking pattern. And I know it doesn't look like it's showing up very well, but you'll see what I'm doing here in a little bit. And then I'm going to clean that plate off with some acetone and a cotton ball uh, so I can get a good clean pickup again. Scrape times two, and then pick up. So I'm doing this image on my thumb, middle, and ring fingers. And then I'm going to use the blue up here on just that little single diamond. And I'm going to try to line it up over the um, center of the other image that I've used. Wish me luck. <laughs> Got to get up some of that excess though. I don't want that getting all over my my manicure or in my on my nails I'm trying to line that rascal up there we go I think I did a pretty good job we're gonna do that again yay yay I am trying to break out of my box a little bit and you know experiment with colors so, you know like I've told you before sometimes they work great and sometimes they don't you know, but you're not going to know unless you try. So, and I share all of my manicures with you all. I don't hold anything back. I show y'all everything I do, good or bad. So, I've decided I'm going to go in because I just can't leave them other nails naked. I have to just put something little on them. <laughs> that and I'm just having fun stamping. <laughs> There we go. This is another stepping out of my box using this here plate because I'm used to, well, not used to, I'm drawn to like the florals and the patterns and the, you know, pretty you know, stuff that would look like wallpaper or something. So to be using these images is <clears throat> stepping out of my comfort zone just a little bit. I thought I had that one all straight, but with the curve of that nail, I ended up, you know, it's not so straight, but I don't care. It's just nail polish. I'll be all right. It's not like I'm, you know, going to be modeling my hands anywhere except here for you guys. And I think y'all will forgive me, right? I'll be using that smudge-free top coat by Bundle Monster, which has changed its name, and I'm still not used to it. So, uh, my bottle says Bundle Monster, so that's what I'm going to call it for now. I'm just going to go over that real quick. I love them. Nothing smeared. Yay. And now I'm going to top it with my normal old posh top coat. Oh, right after we get a visit from Woody. There we go. Oh, I must, I must have skipped the posh. But you guys know I did posh. I always do. So, 
here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.